even when I'm back. Got my head in the clouds and my feet on the ground. I got big dreams. Yeah, we got big dreams here in the Genius Lab. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm your host, Toby Christensen, and we are talking today about inspiration and passion. Uh, we talked a little bit last week about the uh, over the umbrella, the over blanket blanketing uh, energy of mineral, which is f- for all of 2024. Uh, it ends in a four and mineral is associated with the number four mineral is about um, connecting to your life's purpose creating a new story and um, remembering your greatness it's it's about remembering you know we we have this deep in our bones we have the greatness of our ancestors we have uh, all of our potential and uh, so you know some people talk about discovering you know, their greatness and it's already there. You don't have to, you don't have to figure it out. You just have to remember, remember who you truly are. Remember why you're here. And it's very powerful. And now we're dealing with the second month of that mineral year the the number two is, correlates with fire. So we're looking at how inspiration, passion, clear vision, and spiritual connection all connect to and work with this uh, over overlaying energy of mineral. And so to, today I want to talk about about inspiration and passion, two of the things that I am, you know, they're, they're, they're in my blood. <laughs> People always say, you know, well, how, how can you be so positive all the time? How can you, because the other option sucks. I'll tell you, it's not because I'm some kind of superhuman or, you know, or I'm running around with rose colored glasses on, or maybe I am, but I like rose colored glasses. So it's cool. So the thing about inspiration and passion, why I, I, number one, I'm, I was born in a fire year. So I naturally have a, a associated towards that energy. And then I'm just, I just tend to be very high energy person. But inspiration and passion are two of the most powerful forces and they, and they often go hand in hand. Uh, they create a dynamic synergy that uh, that propels you to achieve remarkable things, and uh, it's cool because they're like they're like twin elements, and they play a, a critical role in fu- in fueling creativity, um, driving innovation, um, fostering personal growth. You know, they're they're always there. Uh, Poking that poking at the bear, getting you to go the next step, getting you to push just a little bit, a little bit harder. Um, in in at its core, uh, inspiration actually acts as the spark that ignites the flames of passion. So inspiration, uh, it can come from various sources. It can come from you know seeing a beautiful piece of art or a comp- hearing a compelling story or wisdom that you that you might get from a mentor. I know that people in my coaching uh, uh, program often are like, oh my God, I needed that point of view. You know, it was just that little spark that got them from um, inspiration, that inspired them to passion. And the thing about it, 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 the thing about inspiration is it has the ability to awaken a sense of purpose and then it, and then it stimulates curiosity and it kind of it kind of nudges or pushes you towards new ideas and pers- and different perspectives, and sometimes a different perspective makes all the difference in the world. And uh, so the other thing that inspiration does is it is it acts as a catalyst for change. You know, it's mo- it motivates individuals to break free from their comfort zones and from their limitations and pursue things that are in alignment with their deepest aspirations. Okay, that is a person that is inspired and and passionate. Passion is is a little bit different, though, because passion is the is the uh, what do we it's the it's the power of unwavering commitment and intense enthusiasm for a particular pursuit, something that something that you're going after, you are inspired to go after it. And then the passion is what keeps you keeps you driving. 
It's the driving force that sustains effort over the long haul and then, and then transforming interest into dedicated action. I really, I, I was thinking about that and reading some pieces on, on passion and I like transforming mere interest into dedicated action. You know, that's awesome. Passion provides the energy that, uh, that we need to overcome the obstacles to persevere, you know, to, to keep pushing through challenges, to maintain focus. I mean, that's, I got a confession. That's one of the most difficult things for me is to stay focused. And so I, it, it's important for me to be um, inspired and then the passion kicks in and, and I'm able to stay focused, but boy, th- that passion is what, is what really does it. The, 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 the dance between inspiration and passion is, is a dynamic dance that transforms, it, it basically takes your dreams and, and makes them into reality. Um, inspiration is the initial spark and the awakening and that gives you a sense of purpose. And next week we're going to talk about, about having a sense of purpose and how to connect and sustain that, um, connection, but passion takes over and, and it provides this sustain motivation that, that it, it, it turns your dreams into, into tangible achievements. Um, so I don't know how many people I've talked to or that have signed up for my program and and they're like it just seems like every time i have an idea and i have an uh, i have a an inspiration i can't ever make it tangible i can't ever i can i can feel it i can think it but i just can't make it happen and when when we get talking it's like is this something you're really passionate about is the how inspired are you? What, what is your inspiring energy? And a lot of times we just simply have to adjust their desired outcome slightly and, and they're, they're back on track and they're, and they're knocking it, knocking it out of the park. Think about all the successful entrepreneurs and, and the stories that you've heard. I love these stories. I loved stories about Steve Jobs and, and the, um, uh, Bezos and, and, and just normal, normal entrepreneurs, coffee people, uh, you know, consider basically how often they call on inspiration of a breakthrough idea with a mentor's guidance. This is why I'm, 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 I push accountability and, and, and coaching a lot because I think half the, half the thing is if you have somebody that's there in your corner with you, you're going to be able to endure and, and, uh, sustain your inspiration and sustain your passion for whatever the project is. And it's really hard to do that by yourself. But, um, Often, you know, when I, when I talk to entrepreneurs and like, what happened? Well, I had this idea and, and then, and then I got guidance from my coach and then I started putting things together in a way that I thought would work and then made some mistakes and just kept pushing, kept driving at it, kept making adjustments, kept redefining and, and, but I had the passion that was underlying in, in, the whole time and the inspiration was I had to make the world a better place or I had to make uh, shopping an easier th- easier thing or I was just driven to make a ton of money because I was raised poor and and I didn't want my children to be raised how I was or what whatever it is but it's 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 interesting because passion and and inspiration there it's it's a relationship where they feed each other and uh, pa- passionate engagement with a particular uh, outcome or a particular pursuit can in turn become the source of inspiration so the I remember when I when I put up my first espresso bar I mean I was inspired I was passionate about coffee and and through hard times and 
and easy times, and there weren't very many easy times, I'll tell you, there was this reoccurrence, this bouncing back and forth between getting re-inspired and, 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 and dedicated with it, with it intense fervor, you know, and, and it's, so it, 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 I see how the inspiration and passion would, I, the passion would start to dwindle and then I would get inspired in another way. So think about what it is that you really want to accomplish and think about how you feel about it. Like how passionate are you? How inspired are you? Because when the when the when the in, when the when the inspiration dwindles and your passion is questioned how are you going to respond what are you going to do and how are you going to rekindle that and the thing about uh, rekindling passion is find something to be inspired about. And this could be a new addition to your business. It could be a new way of doing things. It can be a new way to look at the situation. Uh, I think that uh, in, innovation comes from hitting a wall and figuring out how to get around it. So think about it. What is it that you want to do? Are you passionate about it? Are you inspired by it? Let's get together and make it happen. If you need some help, you know how to get a hold of me, Toby at tobychristensen.com. And I'm here to help you. Let's be inspired. Let's be passionate and make the world a better place. And by all means, keep looking up.